Hello! This video is part of my New Year's Finish It Challenge where I try to finish up old abandoned artwork, videos, ideas, and projects, and all that fun stuff. So for this video, I am continuing on with my art tour, or I'm going over all, all of my old artwork from the past 15 years, I suppose. And for this stuff we're going over, continuing to go over the stuff that I did in my first semester of my art major. So all this is still from 2011. If you like to watch the other half of this, I have another video for all the other stuff I did in 2011. That was intro to drawing and two-dimensional design. Two-dimensional design. Yeah, there we go. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description or I'll put one of those little cards in the corner. Yeah. So we're just gonna get right into this stuff. All this is from intro to drawing. Some of it is in the sketchbook and some of it's really huge. Underneath the sketchbook. Deal with that in a moment. Gonna go over the sketchbook real quick. Probably won't have a whole lot to say about this stuff since it's just homework assignments. But hey, one of the reasons why I'm going over all my college artwork like this is just in case, you know, you plan on going to a college or you want to do the art program, maybe you'll get an idea of what you might be doing. It's a lot of boring stuff. Just, just, just to warn you, it's not fun. But yeah, so we're gonna get into this. Hmm, yeah, that'll be good enough. So we got this little, ugh, hitting my light and my camera. Good job. So we got this little ducky. Adorable. I think this homework assignment had to draw, uh, 20? Or was it 15? One of them. You know, 20 or 15 little individual still lifes. It was hell. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but it was hell back in the day because I was very lazy. I'm still lazy. What am I talking about? This is a little seal. A little skelly seal. You'll see more of him again. We got... I'm just gonna keep it like this. We got this thing. A cup on top of a... Pencil case. I still have this pencil case. Got a little radio. I no longer have that radio. Got a weight. Ones you like. Yeah, dumbbell, dumbbell. There we go. Got one of those little spray things. Adorable. Got a little uh flip flop foot thing. I used to keep my keep my nail clippers in there. Tissue box. Yeah. Amazing. Hair straightener. A lot of this is fun, you can see. Such fun times. An alarm clock. Hair dryer. My ot light, which I still have. It's a little skinny there. I think I lost some I think I might have gained some weight since then. Oh, what are you doing, Ot Light? These things, I keep hitting my light, and it also shakes my camera. I'm very sorry. So those things one of those, um, how are they? You use to carve out little blocks for lithography printing. One of those. A carving knife. I just, just call it that. A bottle of masking fluid. Some turpentine. One of those air fresheners with like the jelly in the inside. Old people use them a lot. Yeah. A tape dispenser. A candle holder. This is exciting, isn't it? A stapler. Ooh. Getting to the good stuff now. Some. Oh, wait, this is a different project. Oh, hey. So, the last homework assignment was just sketches of still lifes. Now, this one is about line thickness and all that stuff. And I think I had to do just about the same amount of drawings. Maybe even more for this one. So, it has pencil and ink. Wow. Getting really exciting now here. Mm -hmm. So, I got some sunglasses. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. So some sunglasses. A shell. I don't have those shoes anymore. They are long dead. A, um... Speaker for a, com for a computer. Couldn't remember what the hell it was. 
Come on. Another tape dispenser. Oh boy. You haven't noticed. There's a lot of. It's a lot of grindy work, I guess. Lack of a better word. You got grindy work. We gotta keep practicing. Draw a lot of boring stuff when you do art programs. When you do art art classes in an art program. So much fun. Oh look, words. Not important. Continuing on. I, this is still this. No, this is a different project. It is. Is it? Yes, because the, the numbers in the corner changed. It's a different project. Using pencil and ink again. I think this has texture. I think this project is about texture too. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's line weight and texture. Ooh, exciting. So this is a makeup palette. Don't have that anymore. That's a... That's a thing. Yeah. A spray bottle. I used some ballpoint on that one. Got real freaking fancy there. Yeah, ballpoint. A pill bottle. Exciting. An ink bottle. You can tell I got lazy for this one. For this homework assignment. Like, the, the, one of the third ones in the sketchbook. Got real lazy. Just drew a lot of bottles. My professor's like, drew a lot of bottles. You probably shouldn't have done that. I'm like, yeah. I know. I didn't care. A little basket. Some more tape. This is a roll of tape now, not in a dispenser. Wow. Getting real creative over here. Oh, an apple. Something different. Cute little bun bun. Little bun bun stuffy. Adorable. Get a close up on bun bun. Yeah. Bun bun's worthy of a close up. Bun bun's cute. A camera. Don't have that camera anymore. Broke that shit. I think I broke the lens on it. Got B plus on that project, eh? More words nobody cares about. Thumbnail sketches for project. More words. More words. Okay, here's a new project. We got portraits, I think. There's five in this portrait project. If I remember correctly. Yeah, well, we'll see. I think it was just making portraits. I don't think there's anything specific I was supposed to do. Except for the last one. So there's me. Oh, we had to look in a mirror. We couldn't look at a photo. We had to look in the mirror and draw ourselves. That's what this project was. Alright. Me again. You also had to do one drawing of a different person. Me again. This one is horrifying. Look at that. Horrifying. And there's my sister. What the hell is she doing? Drawing, I think? She's a little baby here. You're like nine. Maybe ten. I was probably ten by then. It was in March. Me again. So that was that was five, right? Yeah, that was five. And then this last one is another homework assignment. This one was in ballpoint pen. So that is a more detailed version of this one. I got super lazy and I just like traced over this one and just did it here because I'm like I'm not redrawing anything. And I did this with ballpoint. I really had fun with this one. I guess I'll close up on this one. The hair looks nice. That nose is horrifying though. Looks like someone punched me in the face over and over again. So this is basic ballpoint pen. I don't. Was I even using my favorite ballpoint pen at that time? I don't even know. I don't remember. I might have been. And I think that's it for the stuff in the sketchbook. Yeah. That's it. So I do have a few other drawings that were in the sketchbook but got ripped out. Because I had to hand them in separate from the sketchbook, I think. I don't remember. But I'm putting these on some gloves because these things are nasty these are all pastel and charcoal that's why it has this protective film over it so it doesn't get all over the place and i don't want this nasty shit in my hands because if you watch any of my previous videos i hate charcoal and i hate pastel i think they're gross they make my hands all dry and ugh nasty but hey if you like pastel and charcoal whatever i don't care i just don't like it all right move the 
Look at plastic film from there. Look how dirty that is. Oh wait, you probably can't even see it. Maybe you can, who knows. So here's a self-portrait. Horrifying. And more film. So for this project, I think I had to draw old masters artworks. So ask me who these artists were, because I don't remember. I don't remember at all. This one's done as pastel. Yep. Fantastic. Come here. Come on. We got a uh, fruit of some sort. Mm -hmm. What was this one? Was this mayonnaise? Or was it? Uh, I know the next one's Van Gogh, but was this? I will no Monet. Was that Monet? I think one this one was Monet. Definitely not Monet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was Monet. See, I can't tell since it's in black and white. Maybe it was in color, because Monet was all about the color and his work and texture. But this isn't in color, so I have no idea. No idea. But this one's definitely Van Gogh. Don't even have to think about that. It's Starry Night. Mm -hmm. Don't remember who this one was. Do not remember the artist for this one. There's that. It's a seascape. Oh god, this one's gross. Oh, really gross. I don't know if you can see that. Ew. This is just a pastel drawing of some leaves I took a picture of. Didn't help that I was using really shitty, poor quality pastels back then. Let's see. What's this stuff? Is it anything? Huh, what is this? Noses and eyes and lips? Don't remember what this was for. That nose is alright. Yeah. Um, is this anything? No. Just some sketches. Okay, so that's not anything. Ugh. Gross, gross, gross. I'll just put this stuff aside. And then we go over the big stuff. Give me a second. Alright. Big stuff. Big stuff, here we go. Maybe this is just... I think this is just this. Okay, I think it's like one of the first things I did in intro to drawing. I had a boring still life. I was bored out of my mind. Wait, no. No, this is not one of the first things we did in intro, or was it? This might have been. But, though, the majority of what we did in intro to drawing was boxes. Lots and lots of boxes. And then we moved on to something more interesting. But God, those first, like, two, three weeks was hell because it was nothing but boxes and I was so, so bored. So I'm going to show the stuff in the newsprint first. So we use new print, newsprint, new print, haha, newsprint for the stuff that we didn't really care about. It was just simple studies that didn't deserve the good paper. So we just used cheap newsprint, which isn't archival, so this stuff is going to be destroyed eventually. So just boxes, like I was saying before. Can I zoom out anymore? Nope, that's just gonna have to be good. Uh, yeah, just a whole lot of boxes. This isn't charcoal. That's why I'm still wearing my gloves because there's a ton of charcoal and pastel and Conti crayon and all that fun stuff in this here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get dirty. So just boxes, the charcoal. Did a lot of that. More boxes. Except in pencil this time. Getting advanced here. Not really. This is... Uh, can you even tell what this is? Can you even see it? It's so big. Gosh, this what? So big. I know, shut up. I'm gonna shut up. This is just a hallway in the building where I had my class at. Yeah. 
Oh, that's, that's all that matters. So, oh, yep. Just forget that. No, it never happened. Alright, this is little skeleton. This is the back of handsome Mr. Skellington's head. Stupid glare. That'll do, I guess. So, handsome skelly. True handsome skelly a couple times. He was my best friend. He was my only friend. Oh god, this is horrifying. So this is a portrait I did. One of my classmates. Is this in ballpoint? I think it's ballpoint pencil. Yeah, this is horrifying. Horrifying. Now you can see how well newsprint lasts. You can see how it's just getting shredded and torn apart. It's just falling apart. Yeah, if you, if you do plan on taking college art classes, you'll probably use a lot of this. Especially for really quick gest gestural studies. Yeah. And we got Mr. Skelly again. On some white paper. Still crappy paper. Still cheap paper, but... Leveling up from the shitty newsprint, so hey. Yeah, that's it for newsprint. Yeah, it looks like that's it for the newsprint, so... Maybe you can see my this stuff better. Mr. Scally again. Front view of Mr. Scally. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna have room for this stuff. You know what? I'm just gonna just throw it on the floor. I'm just gonna, gonna do that. Whatever. You can go on the floor too, Miss Brent. See ya. Mr. Scally again. Mr. Scally. Bye, Mr. Scally. Alright, so this is done with fine charcoal. The point for these short class assignments was to fill in the space with the vine charcoal and then erase the vine charcoal to make all the details in your subject. I think all of these were done with portraits. Are these all of these are portraits? There's one. Gosh, I'm gonna have a giant mess to clean up after this. There's another one. Can you even tell? There's a person there, I promise. Oh. And then we did we did the same thing for figure studies for this one. There's a person kneeling forward. Or leaning forward. Yeah, leaning forward, not kneeling. So again, vine charcoal. Fell in the space, or not the space, but fell in the shape of the figure and then erase for details. Yep. Same thing for this one. It's a figure sitting down. Her torso is very, very long. Yeah. Oh, now we get to the... <laughs> I think these are gestural. So gesture drawing is basically when you make really quick drawings of really quick poses. It's usually like maybe 30, 30 seconds, like a minute. Usually the time frame for gestural drawings. And you're just supposed to get the pose on there really quick, not supposed to think about it, just supposed to let your hand just go. You don't lift your hand off the page. You just do it real quick. These poses might be, might have been a little bit longer than 30 seconds or a minute. I don't remember, it's been a while. This is done in vine charcoal. I was terrible at anatomy back then. I was terrible at anatomy for a long time. I still am. Not as bad as I was. And I did get a lot better when I took life drawing like two years after this. I think, yeah, I took life drawing 2013. So it would have been about two years after this. I did get a lot better after I went through that class. We'll get there eventually. I don't know when. Because there's so much other crap to go over before that. And there's stuff on the back of this. Just more gestural stuff. That's done in a plain old charcoal, so it's not fine charcoal. If you're curious, fine charcoal is usually a lighter, more gray tone. And then plain old charcoal is black. Just in case you don't know the difference. Fine charcoal isn't as permanent, and you can easily wipe it away. So it's good for making large, quick gesture drawings. So actually that's what I did here. I had like the vine charcoal there, wiped it away, and I did something over it with Conti crayon. And there's oh, I think it's like some of the first there. Like some of the first ones I did. 
I thought like, oh, I'll put as many on one page as I can. And then the professor was like, no, 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 you got to fill in the whole page. So I was like, oh, well, okay. So I was used to doing, get out of here. I was used to doing tinier stuff and not used to uh, filling in the whole page. More gesture stuff. Nothing on the back of the, well, there was something there, got erased. Oh wait, no, Never mind. it's just that. Never mind. This. Exciting stuff, isn't it? We'll get past the class assignments. Or we'll get past the boring ones. Get to some better ones eventually. Skelly's back. So I was drawing Skelly. I didn't finish the form. I just like, I was like, fuck it. And I'm like, I'm just gonna add detail to Skelly's arm because I don't care. Or was that the point of this project? We weren't supposed to finish the whole thing and just finish the small part. I um, I don't remember. Here you go. Skelly's arm. Sexy Skelly. My best friend. My best friend. More drawings. Gesture drawings. Anything in the back? Yeah, there's something in the back. Or no. Or is that just a transfer from another one? It's probably just a transfer from a different drawing, whatever. I think this one, yeah, this paper is just acting as like a buffer in between this wonderful drawing and everything else. So this thing, was this a class assignment or do this for homework? No, this was class because this was a class still life. This thing is done entirely in Conti crayon. Conti is basically it's basically like pastels and charcoals. There's not a big difference between them. So there's like a limited color range. You get like grays and then you have warm browns. Maybe a black and white and that's about it. What is the difference? Are they more waxy than pastels? They might use a different binder to bind the pigments together than charcoal and pastels. I don't remember. I don't use them. I only used them for like this class and that was it. So the purpose of this project was to have cool grays and warm browns and that's how we were supposed to um, represent the temperature of the piece. So warmer parts would be brown, cooler parts would be gray. Next one, this was a homework assignment. Well I think I had to do it at home because I had a family emergency so I missed school for a week. So I did this one at home, this one, uh, what's the point of this assignment? Was it just doing a still life in charcoal? I think it was just doing a still life in charcoal, but showing like where your light source hits or something. I don't know. It's been a little while. It's been a long while. It's been seven years. Seven years. Still can't believe it. What have I done? What have I done in those seven years? Absolutely nothing. I graduated. That's about all I did. Anyway. Oh, some slightly smaller stuff that I can actually fit in the whole frame. Isn't that nice? This was a homework assignment. I think you had to draw the same still life twice. I'd have like it zoomed out and then it zoomed in. This is actually an old lamp I had from when I was a baby. It's a little Mickey and Minnie mini lamp. I still have it. I think it's in like the cubby hole next to me. So, oh, and you had to, you had to draw this in two different ways too, which is why there's one with ink and one without ink. So there's just a sketch with a pencil, and there's a close-up of, I think it was just Mickey. Yeah, Mickey. There's no bow. With the uh, ink. Mickey looks like he just saw something, some fucked up shit right now. Like, look at those eyes. He's horrified. What did you see, Mickey? Dear God. Bye, Mickey. <laughs> and I think this next assignment was, uh, it had to do with portraits, obviously. I have to draw the subject in two different ways, doing using two different styles. So this one, I went a little manga style. Both of these portraits are going to be me. I remember uh, when we did the critique for this, my professor was like, "Oh, look, here's. Here, I guess ah, I'll show the first, show this other one before I get to that story. So here's this one, done in pencil. Done in pencil. Done in ink. Back to my story." So my professor is like, oh, this is Cassie the shy, shy sweetheart, and this is one, this one is Cassie the badass. And I was like, yay. 
I got a good chuckle, so. Sweet, shy, innocent Cassie. Cassie the badass. Not sure if I'm either of those things. Or any of those things. I did say a couple things. I said more than two. I don't think I'm any of those things. But I am. Is a loser. <laughs> anyway. I think we're back to more class assignments. Are they all class assignments? Yeah, no, some of them are homework. Some of them are final projects. Fun. Alright, so this assignment- <laughs> well, the next one's horrifying. Was doing more portraits and different mediums and different styles. So this one, which is a classmate done with pencil. Yep. Oh god, this one is horrifying! <laughs> I had actually, um, this was the last one I did for this assignment. Probably should have showed this one last, but whatever. So I only had like five minutes <laughs> to make something, and I had to use a different medium. I was like, I'll just use a pen. <laughs> and this poor guy, he got the shitty end of the stick, and he looked absolutely horrifying. This one was done with pastel, soft pastels. This was using complementary colors, so orange and turquoise. I think this one was just charcoal. <laughs> so yeah, I tried pretty hard in all the other ones, but that last one, last one was horrifying. I ran out of time and I was like, oh no. So the other ones looked nice, the last one was just, nope. Oh, I think this one's charcoal too. So I guess not all of them had to be different. It doesn't look like it. So I guess I could have two that were the same. Just had to be a different person. And here's the last person. Using complementary colors, purple and yellow. Another, another drawing with soft pastels. Alright, now we're getting to some final projects. And I think the last of the homework assignments. There's still quite a few left. Let me flip this one around. So this was like midterms, I think? Or was this one midterms? I don't know. Doesn't matter. This one's just... Uh, let's see. It's just a cow skull. With flowers and grapes coming out of it. Now, this one wasn't midterms, but this was also important, an important thing we had to do. It was like, oh, okay, so I remember. So each section that we finished in the class, so this is like the final project for the box section we were doing. So remember the boxes I showed a lot earlier? So this was like the final project for that section. Then we had final projects for the other sections. So the cow was probably midterms and also a final project for a different section we did in intro to drawing. So here is some boxes. This this was like the whole class we had to do this. We had to finish it in class. So boxes and um... The hell is that word? Stools? Stools? On top of the boxes. All that stuff. Didn't have to be fancy, just had to get like the basic framework down. As quickly and as best as you could. There's that. This one was another homework assignment. It's actually my old bedroom. Let's see if you can see this a little better. Just a sketch of my old bedroom. I think I sat at my art desk and then I just turned around and I sketched my bedroom out. Right. Now this was another final project. Or was this one midterm? It's really hard to remember now which was and wasn't midterm. This one is in March as well, so I don't remember. We had to do a fancier still life with detail in it. It's a bit shiny because of all the graphite. This is all pencil. We got a little clam with some grapes in it. A rose. Some flowers over there. Fun stuff. Not really. <laughs> I wouldn't really describe most of this any 
almost any of this stuff is fun. And hey, we saw this little guy earlier. This is the little skelly seal. Saw him earlier in the little sketchbook. In the, the uh, sketchbook I showed earlier. I was making a triangle there for a sketchbook. I don't... I don't, I don't know how... No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just ignore that. I didn't do that. Never happened. Oh, here's a little, little skelly seal. Done in ink. This is a part of a two-parter project, I believe. I had to use one image and draw it two different ways. Seems to be a running theme in this class. Or it was a running theme in this class. And here's a little skelly seal again. Drawn with pencil. Looking fabulous. Here are the ballpoint pen projects. No, oh, there's only two left, so these are the last ones. So, ballpoint pen projects. We had to do two of them with two different subject matter. This is when I first discovered um, these pens. So, these Papermate, Papermate profile pens. These are probably my favorite ballpoint pens to use. I really like drawing with them. They gotta be careful in which paper you use for them because their ink is so smooth that you might lose a bit of control if you don't have enough uh, tooth in your paper. Just gotta keep that in mind if you use them, but they're great. I really like them for uh, doing PowerPoint pen work. Now if you're using like a smoother paper, you should probably get a lower quality um, ballpoint pen where the ink isn't as smooth so it doesn't slide all over the uh, over the paper. I had that problem when I made a ballpoint pen drawing in one of my sketchbooks because the paper just didn't have enough tooth to it. Didn't have that problem with this one though. This one is a nicer drawing paper. Has a nice tooth. Has a nice tooth. It's not not a whole lot. It's a fine tooth, but it's enough for the for the um profile ballpoint pens to stick to it. Anyway, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. We got purple apple. Fantastic. And then the last one, which is upside down. And now, let me flip that around. So the last one, or the last ballpoint drawing, and the last drawing for my intro to drawing stuff. It's this little shoe. Little shoe. Horrifying shoe. It's like it's existing in two different spaces, if you notice perspective on it doesn't match up so we got the front part of the shoe here down here and then the other part of the shoe is all the way up here really wonky it has some weird perspective to it that poor shoe so yeah that should be it for all of my intro to drawing stuff yeah I don't I don't think any other intro to drawing stuff is hiding anywhere so, I actually do have one more thing to show. Found this big old thing in my closet. Let's see, let me get it all in the frame. Alright, so this is a self-portrait that's done with charcoal. Pretty sure this was the final project of the portrait series we were doing in class. I'll just get a little close-up. So we did this in class, took the whole class, it was like three hours I think, and we looked at ourselves in the mirror, and then we drew ourselves out with charcoal. This one's alright. Kinda like the nose and the mouth, a bit iffy on the eyes. yeah let's zoom out a little bit more yep so there's that so that should be the last one that I have to show I don't think there's anything else hiding in a closet somewhere who knows so if you were interested in checking out my two-dimensional design and the other half of my intro to drawing stuff that's in another video probably actually I will have a link in the description to that and I also have a link in the description to all my other art tour videos if you're interested in seeing them that's it for this one not sure what the next one will be I'll probably start going over my paintings from my intro to painting class and that should be the next one 
We'll see though. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Or don't. That's alright too. See you in the next video. Bye bye It's a big mess behind me. How am I gonna get out of my chair? Oh no. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh, oh no! I'm running over all the drawings! What have I done?